and we just left the office to head down to Brooklyn because I saw this crazy video on Instagram of a robot that makes sushi. And we're gonna go check it out. So I'm, I'm a little skeptical because I feel like sushi's meant to be made by hand. It's a craft. <laughs> yeah, the robots are taking over. <laughs> It's, it's a technology that's actually been around since like the 80s. In Japan, they use them for like basically train station bento boxes or at the, the local 7-Eleven. We're achieving a quality level at a price point that is impossible without this equipment. We have a sushi chef. He you know, cuts everything by hand. We mix the rice you know, in, all in the traditional way. However, when it comes to the assembly, uh, we use these robots. My father actually was a sushi chef. He was old school, um, so I'm not really sure how he would feel about this. But I think any negative uh, thoughts about using these machines, the positive end is, is just far outweighs it because we're able to do a consistent product. We're able to serve a lot of people and, and we're able to serve them affordably. The fish is super fresh, perfect ratio of ingredients. Wow, this is great. This is so good. The thing that I think I was most worried about when I heard about robot sushi is how perfect it was actually going to be. Because you know, sometimes with a sushi roll, like you want to see the imperfections. Right. You want to feel like there's this human element. And I mean, if I didn't know, I would have no clue that this was not 100% made by a human start to finish. Oh no, there's like no taste difference. No, not it's at just all. delicious. Not only is the business of the restaurants are changing, but the way people want to eat have changed tremendously. Yes, there's room for like a beautiful white tablecloth restaurant, but there are also a lot of different ways to experience restaurant food now. And for a product where people can come in and out in you know three minutes, you know it's really a satisfying piece of sushi.